Good morning, Living Hope. What a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. Today we kick off a new series, and really what we want to think about in coming weeks up until Christmas is how we can position ourselves as individuals and families and local congregations to live in the blessing of God. There's something about encountering and walking and living in the blessings each day. Everyone who's in Christ, who's come to the foot of the cross and received Christ today, actually has received every spiritual blessing. The devil comes to rob and to steal and destroy, but Jesus says, I have come to give you life in all of its fullness. Do you understand you need to look at the Trinity? God blesses on earth whatever reflects His image. I think we need to just help people understand that walking in the richness of God's blessing is not unconditional. And I think one of the keys is, you know, if you want to walk under the blessing, it's, it's not going to be about me, it's about us. Our world, we talk about this, is the selfie generation. It is all about me. And if we want to walk under the blessing, I really believe it's about us, not about me. Well, the Bible talks about a unity of the faith. The faith that was once for all delivered to the saints. Not a faith that's been reconstructed in the 21st century that you don't hear Jesus. The unity of the faith, one heart, one mind, is far deeper than you ever could imagine. So I'm just saying to us, you know, there's a command and a blessing that God longs to impart over our church. Today, in the weeks and months and year ahead. So God wants us to come into alignment today. He wants us to be sales in our local congregations, not anchors. He wants us to be devoted to biblical teaching. Have one mind. We're going back to the Bible. We're not deconstructing and reconstructing our faith. No, we're going back to what the New Testament says. And then will you lay down your life with us for Jesus and the gospel? Lay down your life with us for Jesus and the gospel. You know, the God's people were in the wilderness. That's where they were shaped. But they received that blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you.